What's going on everybody? So I'm about to make a video on how to succeed in general surgery. Let's get to it. Okay, so the first tip I have is know how to suture and tie knots. It seems super easy. I still am not confident and comfortable doing it, but you will be asked to suture. I guarantee that probably day one, you're gonna be asked to suture. Just tell them you don't know how, if you don't know how, and they will teach you, but you're not gonna like be proficient at it unless you practice. So go to like a simulation center that they probably have the hospital or your school and practice. Tying hand knots, um, I never did that in like real life, but I could definitely see how, I mean, they do it almost every case. So if you know how to do it, then maybe you could like brag a little bit and see if they'll let you tie a knot, which could go a long way if that's what you like are wanting to do. Um, the next tip I have is read surgical recall before you go into a case. It literally has all the PIM questions in it. That way you're not caught like flat footed. Um, that's easy to do. It's normally three or four pages on a topic and it takes you a few minutes to read. And that way you at least know what's going on in the case. So definitely do that. The next thing is anticipate what the surgeon is going to do next or what your resident could want you to do. That is in, that is in the OR and outside the OR. If you can be there and already be ready or like, like when they ask you, hey, what am I doing? You know what's going on. You're gonna sound so much better or you're gonna look better and it's just gonna make the process smoother and they're gonna trust you more. So definitely at least have a common understanding of what's going on. And that's where surgical recall can come in. Or if you've seen a case before with another attending, that helps you out. This one is like a little controversial, but I did it. Be there, like at the hospital, before the residents or interns, because you're gonna have to go and get the numbers or prepare the chart um, for the rounds in the morning. And if you can have those numbers ready and hand them to the intern or the resident when they get there, they're gonna love you because that's normally the intern's job or the resident's job. And if you do that for them, then you're gonna make them happy and, you know, happy intern, happy life type of thing. So, and you look good. If you're there at, if they normally get there at 5.15 and you're there at five, then you just are automatically like dedicated in their eyes. For the OR cases, you should be there before the patient gets there. That way you can help clean the room, get the gloves and the gowns all out, help the nurses out any way they need, write your name on the board if your hospital requires it, and then go and help get the patient, bring them back, strap them to the bed, just like do all the things because you're probably not gonna do a lot during surgery. So make your effort before surgery. And then most of the time when the surgeon's done, they leave, they peace out. Maybe the resident will stay around, maybe not, but you definitely should stay around. That way you can help the patient get out of anesthesia, you can help transfer them to the bed, you can walk them back to their room, not walk them, like cart them back to their room, and that makes you look good and the nurses are gonna be happy and happy nurse, happy life type of thing. Um, this is kind of a weird one that no, like a fellow med student taught me and I think it really helps. Go spend two minutes and introduce yourself to the patient before an OR case because they could be like, when they see the attending, oh, Chase came and introduced me, introduced himself. And that way, like the surgeon's like, wow, this med student is, you know, taking the next step. And like, that's something not a lot of med students do. So maybe do that. Just introduce yourself. Hey, I'm Chase. I'm going to be in the OR. I'm not going to be doing anything crazy, but I'm going to be learning. Is that okay? Never had anyone say no. And... I don't know what would happen if they said no, but just take that like, those two minutes and do that. That really helps. Um, volunteer to go to the clinic. Surgeons hate the clinic. I never met a single surgeon who likes clinic. So if you volunteer to go and do something at a clinic, like their clinic, that way they don't have to or they have to do less at a clinic, they're gonna love you for it because they hate clinic. I don't know why I love clinic. Um, I'm pretty sure I don't want to be a surgeon, so I'm probably going to be in a clinic, so I feel more at home there, so I want to spend more time there. But that, you know, if you can make the surgeon's life easier or the attendings or resident's life easier, that makes you look better. So go to clinic, help out in clinic any way you can, because they don't want to be there. Um, this next tip is, like, irritates me, but 
it is true. I was told by an attending to not ask questions that I do not know the answer to, right? So I feel like you should ask questions if you don't know the answer. But every time I would ask a question that I didn't know the answer to, they would just immediately turn around and sit, ask me the same question to me. And it didn't help, right? And it makes you feel weird. And they basically tell you to go look it up. I don't know if that's the poor teachers I had, but several different attendings did that to me. So once I started asking questions that I knew, then they could turn that into a teaching moment and you could actually have a conversation. Now I'm not saying ask things that are super basic, right? If you're in a geology class, you're not gonna say, what is the capital of the United States? Like that is like basic, right? You're not gonna ask things like that. Ask things like, why are you using that suture? Like when you've went and already researched the different types of sutures, things like that. That will help you. Um, I made a second video on how to study and what to bring to like general surgery. So check that video out. Subscribe if you haven't already. That's all I got. I hope that helps. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you next time.